We're now going to look at how to upload our digital magazine to our website. So there's a number of ways we can do this. You may have your FTP details and your hosting details, in which case you can use the built-in FTP application in 3D Issue. If, however, you are with a company that someone else uploads things to your website, perhaps you have a webmaster or your IT department does this, that's also fine. We'll show you how to do that as well. Now, before we get going with the upload, there's just something you need to bear in mind. So in the content tab, you would have remembered when you set up your 3D issue software, you added in some domains where your digital magazines were going to be held. So the software will look at this section and determine whether you're trying to upload it to this area. If you're not, it won't allow you to upload it to that domain. So if you have a domain that you didn't register to begin with, you can add them in and you can add as many as you like, it's fine. But to do this, go into the content tab, click edit here, and then navigate next to the domain section. So at the moment, I just have the one domain and if I'm going to add it anywhere other than that folder, I just need to click on add and type in my new domain here. Click next, click finish. It then adds this uh, change to the software and I can now add that onto my new domain. So this is only if you're going to be uploading to a domain where you've never uploaded a 3D issue to before. We're then ready to upload our magazine. So all we need to do is tell the software what versions we want to create. So let's just go through this options. I want to create a web version and I want to create mobile and tablet friendly versions, so HTML5 versions. I can then choose whether I want an offline edition or not. If I've created an ebook version in the design tab, then I would select that version as well. And I then come to uploading. Now, as I mentioned before, there's two ways. A, if you know your website hosting details, and B, if you don't. Now, if you don't, you would leave this unchecked. You would then come over here and click Build. This would then give you a button that says Open Folder. Now, that folder contains everything that the 3D issue needs to be viewed online. So you would simply send that folder, zip it up, to your webmaster or to your ID department and ask them to upload it to your website. If you do know your FTP details, then great, you can just check this box here, Upload. And you can add in your hosting details. So you only need to do this the first time. And if I click Edit, I can show you ours. So I've given it a name, just in case I have multiple sites that I'm uploading to. Click Next. This then looks at the website, so I just say where I want these to be held and where I registered in the content tab. So I'm just looking for my demos folder. Click next. Then asks where it can store an archive file. So this is just a simple text document uh, that stores the locations of your digital magazines in case that they're related. So perhaps a monthly publication. So your end readers can then flip between previous months. So just say where the uh, software can store that very small text file on your site. Click Next. Then gives you an overview so you can check over where this is going to be sent. And you can click Finish. So it knows where it's going to be uploading to and it knows which versions it's going to be creating. So to complete this, all we need to do is click Build. So I'll go ahead and click this. Save my changes and it then starts to create the versions I've asked and upload it to my website. So we'll just wait a second for that. Once it's finished uploading, it will ask if you want to add this to your archive, so yes or no. And you then get the options that are available to you. So if you didn't upload, you would still get this open folder, and that's the folder, the entire contents that you would send to your webmaster to upload. If you did fill in the FTP details like we did, you'll be able to click this option. So let's go ahead and view online. 
and it's now loading so you can see it's going up in the exact route that we asked it to and here's our digital magazine online so this is the URL that you would send to your readers to view and that's how to upload your 3D issues to your website.